WQEE 99.1 FM, The Key, home of Southern Sports and Talk, Noonan, Sharpsburg, Franklin. Wake up and text. Text and eat. Mm-mm. Text and catch the bus. Text and miss your stop. Wait, 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 wait. Text and be late to work. Sorry, I'm late. Text and work. Text and pretend to work. Text and act surprised when someone calls you out for not working. Who, me? Text and meet up with a friend you haven't seen in forever. Hi. Oh, hey. Text and complain that they're on their phone the whole time. Text and listen to them complain that you're on your phone the whole time. Ugh. Text and whatever. But when you get behind the wheel, give your phone to a passenger. Put it in the glove box. Just don't text and drive. Visit StopTextsStopRex.org. A public service announcement brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. In the market for either buying or selling your home, City First Mortgage Service, LLC, is the first place for all your needs. Ranch manager John P. Lewis and his staff can serve you with a smile and professional courtesy. Serving Georgia, Alabama, Florida, 770-598-0860. John P. Lewis, City First Mortgage Service, LLC. We place you first. Are you looking for guidance and direction? Stop on by the House of Light Tuesdays from 12 to 3 and have tea and tarot with Christy. The House of Light is located at 29 Jackson Street in Noonan, Georgia. Call 470-414-6711 for more information. The House of Light brings clarity to your soul, offering a safe space for healing through our compassionate practitioners, services, classes, and wisdom, plus the tools to support you in our retail space. The views and opinions of this show and program are not the views and opinions of this station, its management, or its clientele. It's now time for the House of Light presents the Wisdom Cafe. Each and every week at this time on 99.1 FM WQEE. Here's this week's special. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to WQEE 99.1 FM. This is the House of Light's Wisdom Cafe. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning. You didn't catch me off guard this morning. I didn't. (laughs) (laughs) You were ready for me. I was ready this morning, yes. Yes, good. Well, I brought in a beautiful... Well, first, before we get started, um, I wanted to remind everyone to... um, participate be a part of this wonderful cafe we would love for you to send us your orders tell us what you would like for us to talk about send in your talk topics to houseoflightga at gmail.com that's houseoflightga at gmail.com place your order today Mm, Mm, yeah so that we can serve you better definitely so yeah well you got a special guest in the studio this morning it's it's been a while since she's been here i believe so yeah it's been a while been a been a long time but i was so excited when i saw her yesterday and asked and she said yes (laughs) there you go i brought with me this morning christy benefield Christy is with the House of Light on Tuesdays doing tea and tarot, and she's a wonderful, wonderful, ah, oh, she's a, an herb guru. I'll say that. <laughs> because, you know, sometimes you have to have credentials to be able to be called like an herbologist or right. something, you know. But no, she comes from the heart, from intuition, from knowing because her plants talk to her and she talks to her plants. <laughs> awesome. She makes beautiful teas and all sorts of things. She also makes our incense at the House of Light, and she does candles as well. Um, but she's also a realtor, too, and that was really cool because... this uh, Yeah, I mean, what else, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, but she's also, you know, she's a mother and a grandmother, just like me, and we were talking, and I loved the way she told me about how she loves to walk in the woods behind her house and forge mushrooms. 
Oh, the made that good spaghetti? <laughs> the good spaghetti that you'll be seeing pink elephants? Maybe. <laughs> Not that kind. <laughs> but yeah, I thought it would be wonderful to come on and talk about how we can get back to nature, get back to, to being home. Because this is something she is sharing with her grandchildren and teaching them how to go out and how to identify what is good and what is not. <laughs> and what could be a little fun. Yes, yes. Well, all mushrooms are edible at least one time. Really? Even the poisonous ones? One time. One time. <laughs> one time. That's it. Oh, that's right. You can die. <laughs> We're all edible one time. Oh, that's great. Uh, so I did tell, I did instruct my grandchildren. They are edible at least one time. Um, but it's been fun. Uh, they, my daughter sent me a text message the other day with a picture of where Adelie, my nine-year-old, had been out in the woods and found some mushrooms, and she was holding them up, wanting to know were they poisonous or not. Can I eat these? Um, so then they came over. Um, on Monday and visited with me and she just begged to go out in the woods and I was like of course wow um, so we went out and foraged for mushrooms um, we of course found some chanterelles which are very delicious um, she very spotted the pet too right yes I mean those are considered a delicacy I mm -hmm. thought they are they're gourmet mushrooms um, so it's really fun to have them showing up in the in the woods and she was like Mimi there's they call me Mimi. Um, all these orange mushrooms everywhere. Wow. And I was like, well, let's get our bag and our knife and let's go get them. So I showed them how to identify them. We found a few that were not edibles, but they were pretty. And, of course, they had to pick those, too, because they were pretty. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, we're I'm learning the different mushrooms. There's so many different um, varieties in the woods right now. Um, I found a lot of animonites. That's a hard word for me to or, Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, some are very toxic. Some you have to cook several times over before you can actually ingest them. And I believe some of them are also, um, I would call, psychedelic, yeah, right? Yeah, that's the one you have to boil like three or four times mm. before you can even consider it. Consume it. it. Yeah. <laughs> I have not ventured on that one. I've seen a few of them, but I leave them be. <laughs> you can grow there happily. I'm gonna pick you. <laughs> they look like the little mushrooms from Mario. Um, really? Mario With the red like. top and the white dots? Yes, that's, that's what they, what they look like? like? Mm -hmm. That's oh, where they get it from. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Too bad we don't have a theme song to go in the background there. <laughs> oh, that would be fun. In my head when I see them, I want to jump. <laughs> the kids only know about Super Mario because of the recent movie out about it. Oh, that's yes, true. Yes, yes. 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 they yeah. love that yeah. movie. Yeah, that's very true. I think true. they actually went to see that movie last week with their other grandmother. The boys did, at least. I think the girls saw Little Mermaid. I can't remember, but do either of you know what happens when you do throw the mushroom or when you capture a mushroom in Mario? Uh, Mario grows big. He goes, yeah, yeah. he grows big. Oh. He, he gets big, yes. Yeah. So Alice in Wonderland, mm -hmm. was that her mushroom too? I believe so. I believe so. No, I would think the so. She to shrink back down to go mm -hmm. through the door. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. We can have a Mad Hatter tea party. <laughs> okay, I'm in. <laughs> I, I don't know if uh, if Alice was eating the same mushrooms as Mario because she saw a rabbit and a Mad Hatter. and a, I don't know what kind of mushroom she was eating. <laughs> well, I believe that when Mario gets real big, doesn't he just like rule he beats everybody the track? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it could be the same rabbit. mushroom. Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> what mushrooms are you eating? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you know what? I think mushrooms have been used a lot in healing mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. There are many different types of um, varieties of mushrooms that when I think placed together, like the reishi, mm -hmm. am I saying that right? Reishi, lion's mane. Lion's mane. There is a bunch of turkey tail out in the woods right now that we could forage and make tinctures with. 
Um, you put that under your tongue to get the benefits of the turkey tail. Um, reishi is another one that's out there as well. Um, lion's mane, that will be probably coming out later in the summer, early fall. Okay. We'll start seeing lion's mane starting to flush out of the trees. Um, oysters are another good one too. Oh. And those are coming out now. Chicken of the woods, hen of the woods, all of these mushrooms have medicinal properties. Wow. Um, so they're, they're very beneficial to us as well as the wildlife out there. Cause when I go out there, I'm fighting the raccoons and the possums deer. and the deer for <laughs> these mushrooms. I mean, I won't pick all. I don't get greedy. I right. pick what I need and leave the rest because wildlife eats it. Um, and I also want them to continue to grow. So I don't pick all of them. And you don't want to pull them out of the ground. You want to cut them at ground level. So that way you leave the tip of the stem and that almost like clones the mushroom. So wow. it will continue to um, create my seculum in the dirt and flourish. So I always cut mine. I have a mushroom cutting knife. And, uh, and sometimes you can twist them, but... Uh, or just it, bring a pair of scissors. Pair of scissors. <laughs> but they have mushroom knives that are curved that you mm -hmm. can actually curve around the stem. Oh, how and cool. Get them. But it's a lot of fun. Um, it's an itchy project. You will get covered in chiggers and ticks. Mm. Uh, so make sure you have your peppermint oil on. <laughs> <laughs> or do Terra. Uh, yeah, the Terra, Terra Shield. Terra Shield. Yep, I do that. Yep. I mix that and spray it all over me, all over my clothes with the peppermint oil. And you can get that at House of Light. Uh, yes, yep. you can get yep. that at yep. the House of Light. <laughs> um, it's a beautiful product. Um, it helps. I haven't had any issues, but... The other day, we did not cover ourselves, and I was itchy in places. <laughs> mm, yeah. Then you just come in and take a shower. Yeah. 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 Get it all off. What are, what would you say some of those medicinal properties are? Like, like what? Inflammation. Inflammation? Um, there's claims that turkey tail has anti-cancer properties. Wow. Um, dementia for, you know cognitive thinking with the lion's mane um, they're researching that for dementia patients um, so these are product mushrooms that you can forage or you can make sure you're getting from a reputable source where you're actually getting the mushroom itself where they powder them up and put them in capsules mm -hmm. um, and you could take them that way or you can make a tea with them uh, it just depends on what the you taste. The taste, right. yeah. <laughs> uh, so I just prefer baking tinctures because that's the simplest form for me. Um, it's easy, you know. You pack your jar full of the mushrooms, mm -hmm. add your vodka, and let them sit for about six weeks. Drain them wow. off. And just put that under your tongue. The What's left over, the, the liquid, yeah, right? Yeah, take the liquid. Mm -hmm. You strain off the used product, which is no... The mushroom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The alcohol pulls all the benefits out of the mushroom. So cool. you're left with their medicinal properties in the vodka. Wow. Or if you can't use alcohol, I believe you can also use glycerin. Um, I have no problem putting alcohol under my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, it's a, it's a great way to get, get that into your system. Yeah. yeah. You know, I've also um, heard a lot recently about the benefits of psychedelic mushrooms. Mm -hmm. I think even the um, psychedelic mushrooms, the psilocybin and all, they have properties in them that are beneficial, especially for like high anxiety and... Um, um, PTSD. That's the one I was trying um, yes. to think of. Um, yes, yes. There's been research showing that you can microdose and you would have to get with, if you're in therapy, if you've got a, a therapist, you can let them know you want to do psilocybin therapy. Mm -hmm. um, you can microdose it and they would set your dosage based on how it makes you feel. Um, typically, it's a tenth of a gram that you microdose. Um, a lot of times I've seen where they recommend doing a full gram wow. in one day, mm -hmm. and that will set you up for a beautiful week um, because it 
brings in the serotonin, it balances your brain chemicals out, and it just gives you that feeling of happiness. Um, euphoria. Um, you could do a, a mega dose and have a little conversation with God if you want. <laughs> I was going to say I've heard um, that be being called the God dose. It is the God dose. Um, anything over four. Um, I really, it depends on who you're sitting with. If you're doing something like that and you're working through some anxiety, some anger, some issues, you need to sit with somebody that's licensed or has practiced mm -hmm. in sitting with you because there are things that are going to happen to you. Emotions are going to come up. Um, you could vomit. Purging, yes, a definitely. Lot of purging that goes mm -hmm. on with it, mm -hmm. but it's a beautiful process when it's all said and done, and it, that feeling stays with you. So it helps. I've heard people say that they have it's helped with alcoholism. Wow, it's kept them from drinking, and and that is very true. The effects are very similar to having an alcoholic beverage, hmm. but you're cognitive. Interesting. You have that inhibition is gone. Mm -hmm. So it's almost, you know, you, how you'll take a drink so you can relax. Do a micro dose of a mushroom is the same effect, except you don't have the hangover. Right. You that can alcohol. remember what your mm -hmm. night consisted of, and you don't make <laughs> stupid choices. Um, and you feel good when you wake up the next morning. So, yeah, mushrooms are... Uh, very healing, mm -hmm. and they come from death and decay. Wow, you know, isn't think that about fascinating? That. They're coming from the death and decay of the forest floor. So there's beauty in death. There's mm -hmm. healing in death. Right. It's a very beautiful thing. Mushrooms are, you know, I'm a fun guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love <laughs> that. Fun, <laughs> fun guy. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. So well, fun. you know, there there are um, a lot of uh, rumbling. <laughs> around that we come from my uh, my, seculum. my seculum right i mean a lot of people are saying that i think we do i we would have come to from say mushroom. we do because we're all one mm -hmm. and the my seculum is underneath the forest floor so i feel like that my seculum is like a little communication like telephone wires mm. between plant life trees it just carries that energy through the plant floor the forest floor and they communicate i really kind of just that's the way i see it that almost like an avatar when they would step on the ground how it would light up yes yes i really want to visualize walking <laughs> through the forest yeah. like that yeah. it, would, it would lighten up my one steps. day so we like just a, may you know? <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool that would be very yeah. cool yeah one day happen. we just may that would yeah. be awesome yeah very much so. I um I know that um I believe from what I understand that network under earth goes all over the earth. Mm -hmm. So like the mushroom that's growing here is connected to the mushroom that's growing well, I don't know, in China? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. 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 I really feel that. I think it just connects us all. I really do. And I believe there's amazing. also an, a frequency to that. There's a device that you can connect to plants that play music. Mm -hmm. um, I can't think of what it's called right now that is escaping my mind. But they've hooked it up to mushrooms too for the to get the sound of the mushroom. It's really cool. I haven't purchased one. They're kind of pricey. Um, but it's really neat to i've seen it on instagram and, okay um, it's plant wave it's the plant wave okay and then they've okay. got one for mushrooms then i see i've seen them do that so okay really i would really be curious to hear what kind of music like a psilocybin would give us and i wonder because the frequency and the fact that we are frequency beings if just playing that frequency could also give you the same benefit that the mushroom itself does. I wonder. I wonder. What do you think, Ryan? I, I wonder the same thing, but I've got a question from the audience for, okay. for you. Uh, one of our uh, audience members, Gail from Tennessee, says she has heart issues, slowing heart down. She's got a pacemaker and everything, and she has a fat. Some of the times it speeds up and everything. What is the perfect mushroom for 
her and anxiety, anxiety and everything. She has anxiety as well? Yeah. And that I wonder if her heart rate is associated with her anxiety levels, Could if that's ca causing it to go up. Um, Psilocybin would be good um, if you could find somebody in your area that has them or go online and find somebody that does, um, they powder them up and put them in capsules so you don't have to take the actual mushroom. It'd be like just taking a supplement. Um, but you want to find somebody that's reputable right. um, with the right dose for you. And, and it's recommended a tenth of a gram. Um, so it would be a small capsule. Um, and that's where you would start. And just depending on how it affects you, you can dose up even more if you want and have a good day. <laughs> you know, my thing is, is I tell people, if you're, t if you're micro dosing and you're not sure, take some. And if you start tripping, that was too much. Yeah. Yeah. And just ride that wave. Right. And have a good day. Right. <laughs> That's about all I can say. <laughs> we also have a product at the House of Light. Thank you, Gail, for your question. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Um, it's, it's, we sell um, natural products, the Delta 8, mm -hmm. and we have several different mushroom products, and one of them, um, the Kana. K-A-N-N-A, the kind of calm. Okay. Um, it has a s several different mushrooms in it. Reishi is Reishi, one of them. Um, right. Um, cordyceps. Right. Yes. Yeah. Those yes. Are all in those. Yeah, those so, are the calming mushrooms mm -hmm. too. If you don't want to try psilocybin. Right. Anything for anything for having to stay up all night, not being able to sleep, um, and and you know. The, uh, a sleep aid or trying to stay awake? No, a sleep aid. Yes. Oh, a so sleep aid. Goes, like, I would not do psilocybin for that. No, I would okay. not. <laughs> that would keep you wide awake. Yes, yes. Okay. So I would go... She's already got that. Oh, oh, yeah. For, yeah. for that, I would go to the Delta 8 products. I would okay. um, Gaia Earth um, okay. has another beautiful healer called Cannabis. And um, I believe a lot of people have made that available to everyone now through the um, hemp laws. Um, right. They're able to use the Delta-8 um, properties in cannabis that do not have the THC right, right, right. in it. Um, mm -hmm. It has, I think, 0.1 THC, okay. Okay. Um, which is legal everywhere. Right, right. Um, so look into the Delta 8 products. Um, I believe that those are really good. We've got some at the House of Light that, I mean, I take them, they'll knock you out. It's just a Delta 8. It's awesome. They're in gummy form. So it's, you know, it's like eating a piece of candy. <laughs> yeah. and she likes gummy, so there you go. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. 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 <laughs> Yeah, very cool. Yeah, to sleep, I would I would go that route yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And if you want some mental clarity through your day, get you some lion's mane, some reishi. Um, there's several blends that you could get. I know um, there's one company I used to get from called um, Genius, and it's on Amazon, and they have several little powdered forms of mushrooms that you mix in water it's not the tastiest thing you want to shoot it down really quick um mm. but once you get it down and you give yourself about 20 minutes you're going to be working you're going to be working diligently your mind is going to be clear and you're just going to be focused it's almost like um putting blinders on um so those are some amazing products um it's called genius mushroom and you can find it on Amazon. They have several different varieties that you can get for heart health, all kinds of stuff. Um, so check them out as well. Um, I highly recommend those. It's, they're just not real tasty. Oh, yeah, it mushrooms. You, the watermelon <laughs> flavor still does not taste like watermelon. That's, <laughs> you know? not, that's all right. That's all right. She just needs that so she can make more potato salad, homemade potato salad. Oh, so yeah. Well, bring on One the of potato my salad. Things. Oh, I love potato salad. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, Gail, we'll get you all that information, the products and stuff. Go to houseoflights.com, uh, mm -hmm. and you can, you can look up all those uh, products there and everything, and... 
So as she says, thank you, ladies. You're very uh, welcome. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for um, listening. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and being a part <clears throat> of the Wisdom Cafe. That's it. And that's <laughs> what it's about, Wisdom Cafe. We've right. Got five more minutes of wisdom before we get into lyrical wisdom. Wow. <laughs> wow. Five minutes. All um, right. If you're here in Noonan yes. and you're looking for a new place, call Christy. She can help you find the house of your dreams. Oh, yes. <laughs> Now is not a bad time to buy, guys. Um, I know everybody's scared with the interest rates, yeah. but all I can say is rates are going to go down. They're going to creep down. They're not going to go down real quick. They go up faster than they come back down. Um, so we're anticipating by the end of this year, the third quarter of the year, the rates are going to go down to around 5% maybe. Wow. Um, they could even drop even further in 2024. So if you're looking to sell your home, Get in touch with your agent or call me. I would love to talk to you um, and let's discuss selling your house and getting it ready for this market because the, the market is going to bust wide open in 2024. I had somebody tell me it's going to pop like a pimple. So, <laughs> I love that metaphor, pop like a pimple. So you want to be ready. So if you're looking to sell your home or if you're looking to buy a home, let's go ahead and get you ready and get you started. Um, I would love to chat with you and see what your goals are and get those in line so we can manifest the home of your dreams. Um, I think it's a beautiful thing and I love to help people out and not just with their health but also finances because buying a home gives you so much financial freedom. It, it, mm, freedom. It allows your net worth to grow. Yes, yes. Better than renting. So how can they get a hold of you, Christy? You can email me at buy with benefield at gmail.com and it's b u y w i t h b e n e f i e l d at gmail.com cool. or you can call me at 678 857 4224 and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have I look forward to hearing from you beautiful christy thank you <laughs> And for the House of Light, you can reach us at 470-414-6711 or houseoflightga at gmail.com. Reach out to us and give us your order for the next Wisdom Cafe. Also, can I say the specials real quick that we're going on? Okay, we're going to be closed tomorrow, y'all. <laughs> the House of Light is closed for a very special event. My daughter's getting married, and we're having a, a bridal shower for her tomorrow. So we're going to shut down uh, the House of Light. But Sunday, on Sunday the 16th, I'll be doing our Tuning In Together, where we work with tuning forks and their frequencies for healing our bodies and the 17th we have our Reiki share circle with Bruce you have met Bruce yeah. he comes on lyrical wisdom with me um, and then every of course every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. we have meditation at the house of light and then next Saturday the 22nd we have a special guest in the house Janice will be doing oracle readings so you can call and book a oracle reading with Janice on the 22nd and then on the 29th of July Vanya will be doing a beginner tarot class at 6 p.m. and Friday night the 28th Karen comes back for insights with Karen prophetic wisdom from Karen those are our specials. <laughs> You've been listening to the House of Light presents the Wisdom Cafe on 99.1 FM WQEE. The House of Light, a wellness center at 29 Jackson Street here in Noonan.